Strasbourg, grad koji je simbol pomirenja Europe nakon dva svjetska rata, nalazi se na istoku Francuske, na ljevoj strani Rajne i ima oko 270 tisuća stanovnika. Prekrasni gradski centar je pod zaštitom UNESCO, a tu se nalazi Vijeće Europe, Europski sud za ljudska prava i Europski parlament. Dragi prijatelji, koliko smo puta čuli da Europska unija donosi neki zakon koji se tiče i vas i mene i koliko puta smo se zapitali ko su ti ljudi koji nam kroje sudbinu. Evo me u Strasburu i za mene je Europski parlament i sad ću iz prve ruke saznat kako izgleda Europarlament, što se u njemu dešava i ko su ti ljudi u kojima ovise i naši životi. Ajmo! Europski parlament i njegovih 8000 zaposlenih djeluje u tri grada. U Luksemburgu je dio administracije parlamenta, prevoditelji, kadrovska, u Briselu se zastupnici sastaju u parlamentarnim odborima, a u Strasburu se održavaju plenarne sjednice i to 12 godišnje. Za sve vas i nas koji nikad nismo bili u Europskom parlamentu, tu je simpatična Cecilia koja će nam pokazati sve njegove tajne. Hi Cecilia, Hello, how, are how are you? Hi, good hi. to see you and welcome to the European Parliament in Thank you very much. Yes. This is the Agora Courtyard and it's named after a Polish MEP who deceased sh- shortly after he became a member. Oh. It's like a community hall, a meeting place exactly before you actually enter into the building. If you turn around, you see a nice uh, glass sculpture behind you. It's uh, named United Earth and it's supposed to symbolize the unity and openness of the European Union that it's constant in transition basically and it's open to the world. Oh nice. It's also remind me to football ball. Very much so. Yes. But you probably have a few football fans in the house actually. No doubt. Okay, shall we enter into the building itself? Yes, please. Parlament koristi pet zgrada koje nose imena poznatih evropljana. Winston Churchill, Václav Havel, Salvador de Madariaga te Pierre Flimlin. Glavna zgrada koje i vječnica zove se Louis Weiss po francuskoj novinarki, feministici i političarki a otvorena je 1999. U storanj visok 60 metara ima čak 200 tisuća kvadrata s iznenađujuće puno zelenila. It's nice, you know, it makes the environment less sterile and uh, friendly, warm. What about all these bridges? You have more bridges than Venice? Yes, more bridges than in Venice. So the bridges are sort of connecting each floor. That's the, the point of it. And I guess it's supposed also to spread out people. Uh, and make air make the building very airy so but it can be a bit confusing because you you know you don't always remember which floor you have to get onto to cross over did you ever lose yourself here oh absolutely many times here's the european flag and the flag of eu member states as you know we are now 27 member states after uk brexit left the european union we were 28 and now we are 27 members sa 705 parlamentarki i parlamentaraca, Europarlament je drugi po veličini na svijetu poslije Indijskog. Tu su zastupnici iz 27 država, a svi su oni u parlamentu svrstani ne po nacionalnosti, već prema političkoj orijentaciji. And who are the people representing Europe and us then? Well, there are people from all walks of life, of all professions. Uh, this is what is the purpose of a, of a, of a multicultural, multilingual parliament. Some of them are pure specialists, others are less specialists, others become specialists when they're here. Uh, but they're all here to do one thing, to represent you and me in the European Parliament. And that's why it's important that we have elections so everybody can choose their representatives in the European Parliament. We have 24 working languages. And why is it so important with the languages? Yes, because anyone from the walks of life should and can be elected to the European Parliament and that person should be able to work here without having his or her hands tied back because of language. So you have the right to speak and listen to, to your language. I especially like the ones who are almost a bit like terriers, you know, who for their cause, who are really passionate for their cause. They usually become extremely knowledgeable. Uh, but another key for to have as well, I think, is also that they are Um, they are also uh, understanding that what they do needs to come across to the citizens because there's no point if we all sit here and work and legislate and people don't understand what it means and what how it improves their lives so 
I think a, a good politician also uh, understands that you need to communicate this and be very clear in what you say and in what you do. Zakoni koji kroje naše živote u Europskoj uniji donose se zakonodavnim postupkom u kojem Europski parlament izravno izabran i Vijeće Europske unije, predstavnici 27 država članica, imaju jednak utjecaj. Europska komisija podnosi zakonodavni prijedlog parlamentu i vijeću koji moraju postići dogovor o tekstu kako bi prijedlog postao zakon. You have this institutional dynamic of course you have the triangle of the European Parliament you have the council and then you have the European Commission but in this triangle there's a, a great dynamic of course and it's all based on discussions negotiations this is how you push democracy forward and compromise yeah like in marriage yes exactly like in marriage I know this story <laughs> in marriage it takes two to tango you know but here it takes a bit more to tango but anyway it's about you know finding the right rhythm in the tango. Did you know that the European Parliament uh, direct elections to the European Parliament uh, take place since 1979? And all the way up until 1979, it was actually the national parliaments who elected the members to the assembly. But since 1979, it is actually the people, right, themselves who go and elect me and the you. members, me and you, all of us who elect the members to represent us in the European Parliament. Od 1979. do danas samo su tri žene bile izabrane za predsjednicu Europarlamenta. Francuskinje Simone Weil i Nicole Fontaine, te nova predsjednica izabrana 17.1.2022. Roberta Mezzola s Malte. Danas je ovdje 41% parlamentarki ili njih 308. Our house matters. I naš turistički obilazak se približio kraju. Nakon posjeta dvama parlamentarnim kafićima, gdje nas je najviše oduševila cvjetna livada na podu, došli smo do centra svih događanja, velike dvorane parlamenta ili hemicycle, kako ga svi zovu. Why they choose a circle? I think it's also psychologically that circles is that everyone can see each other. So no one is having their back to one another but you see that you have the podium you have the president and then you have the political groups sitting from on the on the political spectrum from right to left and then in the debate you have the council so representing the member states on the right hand side and the commission sitting here on the left hand side because of course representative from the other institutions you know triangle i told you about they are also present for the debates diskusion hier im europäischen parlament über malta kraj ono što nas sve najviše zanima kako ljudi iz raznih zemalja koji sjede u ovim europskim klupama utječu na naš svakodnevni život. Well the European Parliament is a co-legislator with the Council with the EU governments and it is co-legislator in almost every area that affects your life actually. Uh, when it comes to clean water, clean air, cleaner cars, uh, combating climate change, when it comes to using your mobile phone roaming making sure that your consumer products are safe and that the products that we import uh, are safe that the food we eat is safe amongst other things so there are many benefits in people's lives so we've come to the end of the tour i hope you've enjoyed this visit to the heart of european democracy the european parliament i hope you've learned some new things i hope you've become more curious about what the european parliament does and the European Parliament and its members works for you to make your uh, life better, to improve our lives. Uh, and this is what democracy is about. Thank you.